Coach Zahra, uh, 0 and 2 on the weekend in, in duels, but uh, I think overall at, at this point you guys are going to have to rate things on maybe effort, how hard the guys are fighting. Is the fight there? Do you feel like you guys are giving all they got? Oh yeah, I think so. I think they're wrestling as well as they can. Um, I don't think anybody that watches them wrestle will say they're not giving everything they have. I can see, you know, make, make mistakes, sure. Uh, effort, no way. I don't think anybody can watch them wrestle and say they're not absolutely wrestling their hardest. Are you getting everything you want out of your guys right now? Are they buying into the to the Ben Stahara program? Uh, you know, I think they are. I think they're working hard. I mean, they're they're there's only one way to get better. There's only one way I know to improve, and that is to go in every day and work your butt off and fix things and, and fix mistakes and, and work hard. You know, it, There's no magic pill. It takes time and it takes work and it takes effort and it takes believing when, when sometimes people tell you you're crazy. But you know what? There's a lot of crazy people in this world that accomplish some pretty great things, so that's where we're at. Okay, you started out at a, in a broom closet at Limestone College. You built it to a top 15 program in the country in NCAA Division II. Had a, a national champ before you left. You did that in four years? Four years, yeah. Four years. Okay. So if you could do it there in South Carolina, not predominantly a strong, you know, wrestling region, you know, what makes you think you can do it here in a strong wrestling region, fully funded? What makes you think you can do it here? Well, I think – I don't think, uh, you know, no matter where you are, the, the big thing is you have to get guys that believe in, in what you're doing and, and most importantly believe in each other. Not so much in, in themselves, but, you know, what we had there was those guys – uh, wanted to win for the next guy coming up and they didn't want to put all the pressure on him They wanted to win for the other guys on the team and win for each other and work hard I mean those guys came in and people, you know laughed at them, you know their first two years they they were freshmen getting absolutely pummeled and You know, it's the same here, you know people are saying, you know, hey, they don't have the talent They don't have this they don't have that but you know college wrestling is great in the fact that you know talent is important but hard work is is the thing you see talent get passed up by hard work all the time and that these guys are are living that and they're going to do it you watch them for the next couple of years and you see the improvements these guys are making right now and come watch some of these freshmen in three years you're going to be surprised and it's not going to be luck it's not going to be fortune it's going to be their will to, to get better all right, you told me you'd rather win with the right guys than win with the wrong guys. What, what were you talking about when you when you said that? You know, I was talking. I've been talking to some people. You know, when you can put out ten guys out on the mat, um, starter, backup, whatever, and absolutely believe in those guys and know that they deserve it. And uh, you know, I, I think people that are not in the coaching profession can't understand that. Um, but I think all the coaches that, that see this and, and know what I'm talking about, that there is absolutely, no matter who the kid they're wrestling, that kid could be the greatest kid in the world, but you know your kid absolutely deserves to win because he's done everything right. And, and you don't feel bad if they knock off somebody who's, who's a good kid and works really hard. You feel great because you know your kid earned it and everything that they got they earned. So, you know, that's what I'm talking about, the right guys, you know, not the guys that are just willing to kind of, show up on match day. I'm talking about the guys that want to do it right in the, in the classroom. The guys that make each other's and, and my life and their lives, people around them's lives better just by being in it because they're that kind of people, that quality of people. Okay, you guys have uh, improved your academic status substantially. Okay, how are you guys doing that? Um, <laughs> a lot of ways. I mean, you know, we, we, we do some things. Uh, one, we, you know, we recruit kids that are successful academically in high school. I mean, that have a good strong base and and that helps that are prepared you know in the college prep classes and and that helps um, you know we have mandatory study halls for anybody under a 2.6 GPA uh, we have the breakfast club which I was just telling guys uh, two, twice a week uh, we have uh, myself and an academic specialist come in and teach these guys note-taking skills and, and writing skills and test-taking skills and you know we're not giving them a fish so they eat for a day we're teaching them how to fish so they eat for life. I mean, you know, that's that's the way it is. And that, I believe in teaching these guys skills to be successful just beyond college. You know, teach them how to learn for the rest of their life, you know, to get job training, to to solve problems, to to be successful. And when you have really big issues come up in your life, you can, that's, that's what education really is, let's be honest. Okay, you and your coaching staff, Coach Coleman and Coach Baines, you guys pound the pavement. You're not afraid to put the work in. Yeah. Okay, how much money do you guys spend in mailing? 
<laughs> well, it depends if we get if we if we uh, if we follow the um, the rules correctly. Uh, as far as when I'm saying the rules, like uh, the bulk mailing rules, then it's it's uh, quite a bit cheaper. But uh, they keep changing them on us. Uh, you know, we send you know with I think there's five states of state qualifiers, including Ohio, that that have gotten letters, at least one letter, if not three letters, from this program. I mean, you know. We're out there. We're sending letters. We're sending uh, camp brochures, and and we know that uh, the more kids, the more kids, people, adults that that get involved in this program, come on this campus, see what's happening, and see the change, and and see the drive, and, and see what we have to offer. Um, the more people that are going to buy in, uh, you know, it's great examples of that. You know, I, I encourage people to come down. Well, if I can't give you a tour, I'll set you up a tour with admissions, and I know our admissions directors. He'll 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 take you around campus, show you what we're doing. I mean, uh, you know, I think we've got great things going on, and and you know, the mailing thing—that's pretty funny. We 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 do a lot of mailings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how positive is it for your campus, and, and, and you know, you guys, Cleveland State Wrestling, to have the U.S. Open at your facility? Oh, that was an awesome thing. You know, uh, you know, our our administration, the the athletic director and and associate athletic director. You know, I brought them the idea. I knew. They were going to be uh, changing venue because of the date, you know, is too early for the college guys. And I said, man, this is a great opportunity. We have universities an hour away, which is great. Um, you know, a lot of people coming. Uh, the attendance for that's been uh, higher every year, and it's, it's dwarfs what what uh, it used to be. So I said, you know, this is a unique opportunity. USA Wrestling sees Akron as one of their most successful national tournaments, and they're looking to make it a major event. We can we can make a push to have that on our campus, and uh, you know they were excited about it. We called Greater Cleveland Sports Commission, which was already working on it, um, and they you know we, we collaborated with them and, and got them into the Wolstein Center right here on campus. Uh, we're gonna have some of the best wrestlers in the world on campus. I mean, selfishly, my guys, you know, where do you think they're gonna warm up? They're gonna be in here, <laughs> you know, come in four days early. My guys are gonna get to watch them, you know, if they need bodies, you know, they, my guys are pumped. I mean, you know, you get to wrestle with with these guys, some of the best in the world and definitely the best in the country. And it's a great opportunity for our guys for learning and it's it's a great opportunity for Cleveland to showcase how great Cleveland is. You know, I think people that haven't been to Cleveland don't know what we have to offer. I mean, you know, there's a lot to do here and it's a great place to, uh, you know, have something for wrestling because we've got great fans and people that love wrestling and, and hopefully those people, will, enough of them will know what's going on that the Open's here to, to come and really see it and make it, um, you know, a premier national championship so that, you know, the, the people, the guys wrestling in it that really deserve uh, to be honored and, and feel special uh, be a national championship that's coveted as far as winning it in front of a crowd like Cleveland's capable of putting out there. You got anything else for me on the weekend? Uh, you know, I, I, you know, you don't snore too bad, so uh, <laughs> it was good. It was, we were real happy to have you along, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's great. The, the new website, I, I like it. I think EWL is ahead of its, its time on that, so we're, we're really happy, and, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again. All right, hey, thanks for the ride, and uh, thanks for not hitting me or smothering me with a pillow. That was close, but, you know, we'll be all right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.